Morning staff, morning boys. Welcome to Friday morning assembly. And I'm here again all by myself. I've got my video crew and they're helping me out. Uh, but the most important members of the Ridge School aren't here this morning, you boys. So I'm here again. Last Tuesday morning we met and we had some time together here in the Nicholson Hall and you guys tuned in and I shared a few things with you. And today being Friday the 15th of May, almost two weeks later, it's a chance for me to do it again. I just wish you were here with me. I miss you desperately. But that's the way things are at the moment. Hopefully it won't last for too much longer. But it's nice to have you with me. And uh, I've got a brief message which I will share with you in a moment or two. I'm going to open in a word of prayer, and then we'll go from there. So if you'd like to close your eyes and uh, bow your heads at home, and uh, let me open in a, in a word of prayer and ask God for his blessing on this time together. Loving Father and precious Lord, we thank you for this time that we can be together now. And we'd ask, Lord, that you would draw close to us. Even though we might be separated by distance, we can be joined and unified through the power of your Spirit. And so we look forward to this time together. We'd ask that you would uh, draw close to us and uh, give us a, a mind and a heart to be able to understand what is being spoken about this morning. Thank you for people who demonstrate courage. Thank you for people who demonstrate wise choice and confidence. And Father, we'd ask that as we consider your reading this morning from your word and we, as we consider the story uh, that is going to be presented to these boys, that Lord, you would just uh, open our hearts to receive it. These things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Right, now let me read from God's word. And it is taken from Romans chapter 5 and on the subject of peace and hope. And it's verses 3, 4, and 5. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. But that's the, the message from God's Word. And I want to focus attention, boys, on the word character. On the word character. Uh, when we got together last week, we had a look at this slide. And uh, I mentioned, obviously, Ridge School, uh, Ridge Spirit, Right Stuff, the three RSs that we are familiar with and that we look forward to getting involved with when we're here at school. And then I added another one, the Ridge Stretch. And I'm hoping that during the course of uh, the last 10 days or 11 days that you chaps have had the opportunity to really get involved and to try out stretching yourselves in the ways that I shared with you last week. Remember there was the, the physical stretch and there was the stretch into the online learning and then there was the stretch in terms of yourself as a person and giving yourself as a bright stretch or a brighter stretch into the lives of the people around you, your mum and dad, your brothers and sisters, and perhaps some others who share your home with you. So that was last week, and I want to build on that a little bit now in the context of something else. We understand that we are, at the moment, really, as a, as a world, as a globe, as people, as humankind, we are being attacked by the COVID-19 virus. Awful virus, causing absolute chaos around the world and causing a lot of misery and a lot of heartache and a lot of pain, a lot of suffering and a lot of death, actually. But here at school, I believe that because of the, your ages and the fact that you young people, you have the ability to be able to fight back and we have the ability to be able to fight back. We don't have to just sit and take it and whatever comes from the virus. We have the ability to, to fight back. So I, I'm going to give you what I consider to be the five super C's that we can use to fight back against COVID-19, to push back and to say we're not going to be undone by this virus. We're going to take it on and make sure that we come through victorious at the end. 
And something came to me uh, a few weeks ago, and many of you chaps would have seen this already, so you'll, you, this will probably be a little bit of a repeat for you. But it came to me some weeks ago, your mom and dad would have seen it, and it's a, it's a fantastic example of a man who showed us, really showed us what it means to push back, to push back against the virus, to push back with courage and with character and to, with fortitude. And his name is Captain Thomas. And Captain Thomas Moore is, is a man who fought in the Second World War. And Captain Moore was probably in his early 20s when he fought in the war in the 1940s. And he survived this long. There are his medals. And he lives in an old age home in England. And when this was filmed, he was 99 years of age. And Captain Tom Moore decided that he wanted to, to make a little bit of a stand. Even at the age of 99, going on 100, and he turned 100, in fact, last Thursday, he wanted to, to make a stand. And he wanted to raise some money in order to be able to help the, the nursing sisters and the doctors and the health workers in what England called the NHS, the National Health Service. He wanted to help them. And uh, so he wanted to raise some money. So he decided that in the place that he lives, he was going to walk around uh, the perimeter of the garden area in which he lived. He was going to walk around uh, that campus a hundred times. And uh, he's, got a, he's got a walker, so he walks very, very slowly. He shuffles along very, very slowly, as I'm doing now. Just shuffling along. And you can imagine at that pace, to walk around probably a perimeter, maybe the size of the car park that you are familiar with outside. That's what he had to walk around. A hundred times he was prepared to do that at the age of 99. But he set to work doing it. And here's the interesting thing, that Captain Moore wanted to raise 2,000 pounds. That's what he thought he could do, to give that as a gift to the NHF. Up to this point in time, he's raised close to 25 million pounds. 25 million pounds, because he captured the imagination of boys and girls like, or boys like you and girls like your sisters at home, and the catch up the, the imagination of families and mums and dads and people around Britain, to the extent that people just wanted to give into what he was doing. But through doing it, he demonstrated what I consider to be the five essential keys, the five essential C's that we are going to fight back, that he demonstrated, and as we can fight back with as we look to taking on this virus. I want to show you a video clip that will give you just a little idea of just how meaningful uh, his walk and walking the talk was and how people were able to capture that. So let's have a look at the video clip. When you walk through a storm Hold your head up high And don't be afraid of the dark At the end of a storm, there's a golden sky and the sweet silver song of love.
All right, how's that for a hero? 99 years of age. He's now 100, actually. 100 years of age. And he's still a hero. He was a hero many years ago in the war. And he's still a hero. But he's a different sort of hero now because he's pushing back a different enemy. He's fighting a different fight. But if he's prepared to do it at the age of 100 years or 99 when he was doing it, then how much more should we as, and you as young boys feel revved up and excited and, and absolutely committed to being able to take on a similar kind of challenge? And so I'm going to share with you now the five C's as I see them. Captain Thomas More's five super C's. The first one is courage. And Thomas More, obviously, as a man in his early 20s, would have had to go to war, had to go to battle, had to go and fight for Britain and fight for the Allied forces so many years ago, 75 years ago. And he had to show courage at that point in his life. And now so many years later, he's had to show courage again. And he had to get, show, show courage by getting behind his walker, recognizing that he had committed himself to a hundred laps around the estate that he's living in, and he had to get going. And it took him a number of days to do it, and that takes courage. It takes fortitude. It takes guts to do that. And he was prepared to show that. At a hundred years of age, he was prepared to show courage. And courage is pushing back the fear. Courage says, I'm not going to be fearful. I'm going to stand against the fear and I'm going to show the fear that I, I've got what it takes to take it on. And there's a lot of fear in the world right now, guys. A lot of fear that COVID-19 and the virus is bringing our way. And we need people, young people, older people, people like Captain Thomas More and so many others to be able to stand up and say, I'm not going to be taken in by the fear. I'm going to push back against the fear. So that's the first one. The second C is confidence. And here's a man at the age of 100 who must have loads of confidence because he's lived a life full of action, a life that he's been able to really live to the fullest. But sometimes confidence wanes when you're facing an enemy, when you're facing something that's coming against you and you're not sure, and you start to stand back a little bit and you say, I don't know if I can do this. And there's a man who stood up and he stood with his walk and he stood proud and he said, I can take this on. I'm confident enough. I've got courage, so I'm going to show you. I've got confidence. And confidence says believing in yourself. Be you and believe in yourself. Then there's the next two. The next super C is choice. Now, Captain Thomas Moore could have, as a gentleman of... 99, going on 100, he could have quite easily said, ah, don't know if I can do anything. I'd rather just sit back and read a book, sit in the old age home and just wait for time to pass. Maybe just um, relax and have a few cups of tea and a cup of coffee and uh, other people can get on and fight the virus. But he didn't do that. He made a choice. He made a choice and that choice says, I can be something here and I can show people that I can be something still even at the age of 99 going on 100. So what did he do? He got his walker out and he started walking. And so he walked the talk. And he put choice into action. And that's what we are challenged to do each day. Put choice into action. Show the world that we don't just talk about it, but we prepare to get up and do something about it. Very important. And then the connected part of it. Connected to what he had committed to, connected to the fact that he was prepared to make a stand and follow the choice that he had made. So he was connected to the action plan that was required, a hundred laps around the campus. But here's the other thing. Through the connection, he connected with other people. He connected with the world at large. He connected with his country. He connected with people in, in, in the village in which he lives. And those people, through that connection, recognized what he had done and how powerful the message was that he was giving. So the connection through one man 
has spread a fantastic message into the hearts and minds of others, like ourselves here, all the way across in South Africa at the Ridge. And we too, feeling that connection, can stand up and show courage, can show confidence, can show that we've got choice-making ability, and that we can connect with what he was wanting us to connect with. Very powerful. But the last one, which is probably out of all of them the strongest because it holds it all together, is that Captain Thomas More demonstrated character. A man who at the age of 99 going on 100 showed that he still has character. And character is made up of your thought, sorry, your thoughts, your actions, and the way that you go about instructing people and getting involved in life. And so he showed character by demonstrating the person that he is even now. As a young person, he would have shown a huge amount of character. Going into war, having a family, getting involved in life, maybe running a business, that would have shown a lot of character. But so many years later, Captain Thomas More decided that character was still very much a part of who he is. And he is prepared to share that into the lives of others share it with the people around him. So those five super C's, you remember them? They've gone now off, off here because I pushed the wrong button. But the five C's, what are they? Can you remember them? The first one, courage. The second one, confidence. The third one, choice. The fourth one, connected. And the last one, character. I leave you with that thought. I leave you with that message, guys. And I leave you with a challenge. Also starts with a C. I leave you with a challenge. That if this has meant something to you, if Captain Thomas More has meant something to you and what he did to take on the virus and to push it back and say, I'm not going to sit here and wait. I'm going to do something about this. And he raised 25, up to date, 25 million pounds. How much more as, we, as young people, younger people, can we get involved and show our character, our guts, our determination, and take on the virus as it needs to be taken on? Right, thank you for listening. Let me close in a word of prayer, and then we're done. Thank you for listening, guys, and, uh, and I wish you well. Before I close, though, just to say to you, I've been speaking to some of your mums and dads, and uh, we've, we've had a few afternoon, evening meetings uh, online, and, uh, and they're telling some of the, the stories that are coming from home. And the stories are fantastic. You guys are doing a wonderful job at home. Uh, you really are. On the online learning front, but also elsewhere. You're doing some really, really good stuff. And I thank you for that. You're showing you the right stuff. You're showing you that you're Ridge boys. You're showing that you've got what it takes to be able to do the Ridge stretch in so many different ways. So I compliment you in that. And I'm saying to you, keep that going. I'm encouraging you. Keep it going. Keep looking for the opportunities to show who you are as a young Ridge boy. You might not be at school, but you're at home, and you're still a Ridge boy at home. So God bless and look after yourselves. I'm going to close with a word of prayer, and then we are done for this Friday morning. Loving God and Father, thank you for a time when we've been able to just spend uh, online, at a distance, but in each other's company nonetheless. And we've been able to celebrate another C. We've been able to celebrate the wonder of a gentleman by the name of Captain Tom Moore, a man who has, has shown us, even at the age of 100, what it means to have character, and through that character, how he demonstrated courage, confidence, connectability, and an ability to be able to get up there and to confront the COVID virus. Thank you for his example. Thank you for the person that he is. Thank you, Father, that we are able to learn from each other at a time like this. And I'd ask, Lord, that you would give our boys and their parents courage at this time, that you'd give them confidence to go forward, that they too can t continue to make right choices and connect with others, and that through it all, Father, they will be able to develop the character that makes them the people that they are, that you designed them to be. So, Father, I'd ask that you'd bless them, bless each home, bless each family out there, each Ridge family, bless the community at large. 
and look after them, keep them safe, keep them healthy, and keep them strong. So thank you for this time, and bless us as we go into the weekend beyond. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thank you, guys. Look after yourselves, character, and everything goes with it. God bless you.